Yo, what's going on, 67? It's good to be here doing a ranked 1v1. And I am in the PTS again, so it's not ranked. I actually went full on default mode and said it was ranked. It's not ranked. It's a uh, custom on PTS. We're playing the new Loki once again. And uh, this time I'm going to test out auto attack Loki. Now, I don't think that it's going to be the greatest. In fact... I think it might actually be pretty bad. But, well, no, because old old Loki, some people build him auto attack and duel um, to help with his clear. And his clear is even worse now. And you kind of need all your abilities to fight. So maybe auto attack Loki is going to be pretty strong. So let's do that. Wait for four ticks. I use my three. Man, I will admit his buff clear is so much stronger than what it used to be. It's so much stronger than what it used to be. Also, um, <clears throat> apparently people got mad at me. Not apparently. People got mad at me. Um, because I was wrong about Flurry Strike. So... Basically, when they released the new Loki, they said that <clears throat> his three was five strikes overall. It was four strikes and then one cleave at the end. Um, but in PTS, the ability says it's five strikes and then a cleave at the end. So I was wrong when I said that it was bugged. I'm sorry. Trust me, enough people told me. <laughs> so I, I understand. And I also understand the frustration. So, again, apologies about that. It'll probably happen again, so I'm not going to say it won't, but... I am sorry about it. <laughs> um... Oh. I was... It's, it's a little bit hard to get the combo off. The two alt combo, because the, uh, the actual stun on the alt, it takes a second. It does take a second. I'll pick this up. I don't need red buff. So hopefully I'm able to not have to use my two on the wave now because I just got golden blade. So I can just use my three and my auto attacks to clear. Saves my two for potentially just poking him out or boxing him. It's actually... Pretty good damage. It did about about 80 damage a poke there. Granted, he has health pots and he has his passive, so he heals a lot. But uh... Let's see, I wonder. If there's any kill opportunity I have right now with only Golden Blade, I feel like there probably isn't. Oh gosh, that did a lot of damage. There's a lot of people that are saying that Loki doesn't do as much damage and he's really bad now and just overall being like extremely negative about the rework and i think honestly if you think that loki does less damage now you're right um but if you think he's worse overall you're an idiot because he's so so much better first off 
from a competitive scene, they actually can balance him now. Now that his abilities have different kind of um, like damage types, and it's not just one number, there's multiple numbers. They can adjust the scaling and the base damage a lot easier in order to get him balanced. So if you think his damage is a little low, I guarantee uh, they're going to be buffing the damage a little bit. Because now there is counterplay to it. So they can up the damage quite a bit more because, like I said, there's counterplay. So, um, so don't worry about that. The, the damage aspect. If you think that his kit is worse, then more than likely, one, you're a Loki main, so your opinion is literally irrelevant. Um, because obviously a Loki main would not like the new Loki rework. Um, and two, if you think that his kit is worse now than what it was, well played, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And two, if you think his kit is worse now than it was, and you're not a Loki main, then, um, I don't know what to tell you, because, like, this kit is literally designed for a more competitive scene. This kit is designed for counterplay, for, you know, team fighting, relic activation. The new Loki is designed as an assassin, where the other Loki was designed as a bitch. Let's just put it that way. Let's just put it that way. I'm gonna get Oboe, because I want all the attack speed in the world. I'm not even gonna sell that, I'll just wait. There's nothing up on the map to farm anyways. <clears throat> and not to mention, right? Let, like, let's keep talking about the Loki kit, because that's the whole reason I'm playing him, right? Um, the whole thing about the kit is that Loki is not some brain-dead, toxic-filled character anymore. He's a character that requires a certain amount of skill and has a skill ceiling associated with him. And is not just a free... Like, oh, he picked Loki, let's report him at the end of the game, you know? Because he can be good at team fighting. he can be good at split-pushing still. I mean, obviously you can't split-push without ever being seen on the map because your two doesn't taunt. Which, again, good change. Um, but I don't know, man. It's just... I hate seeing all the negativity filled around the Loki rework because... The old Loki bred toxicity. The old Loki bred... Anger and hatred towards the game because there was no counterplay to it. You would just get one shot. There's nothing you can do. And if he was on your team... Be like, well, okay, I guess I gotta report this guy because he's obviously not gonna play the game. He's just gonna stay in his lane and split push. And the new Loki is obviously not like that, so so there's counterplay and there and there's there's positivity around counterplay because there's things you can do to outplay. You couldn't outplay a Loki before. He also you die. They're like, oh, uh oh, got my beads, Aegis. <laughs> he got my beads ages, but he didn't kill me. Get outplayed, idiot. No, actually. So, I don't know. I think... If you talk to a casual player... Or... Not even a casual player, but if you talk to a Loki player... Who is also a casual player... They'll tell you the rework's trash and it's going to get reverted. If you talk to a competitive player who is high ranked and or a pro, um, they'll tell you that the new Loki is infinitely better. And I, at the end of the day, that's, that's really all it is. And I don't know about you guys, but like... 
Well, let's equate it to someone who knows nothing about a topic who's someone who is a pro at the topic or educated, I guess. Um, but like, okay, like what about, what about flat earthers, right? They, they Google something. And they're like, oh, well, it's flat. Proved it. GG. But then you have the actual people who know, you know, like the scientists who have proved it hundreds of times who are like, actually, it's not flat. But, I mean, people who are flat earthers are going to be toxic about it. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, except in Smite. Loki players are flat earthers. That's going to be the title of the video. Loki mains are flat earthers? Used to be flat earthers. Can't be anymore. I thought this got nerfed. It didn't get nerfed. It did get nerfed. The attack speed and the strafing. That didn't get changed. That didn't get changed either. Okay. Thirty-five percent attack speed. What did he ask? He asked me a question, and I was reading something. <clears throat> yeah, you are absolutely a uh, defense. It's just a one v one, man. You don't have to. All right. Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. I don't have enough of a wave to get the tower off of that. And, uh, actually, maybe I did. This big boy's kind of fraggy. Do you get backstab damage on towers? No, you don't. Okay. Imagine. Wait, does the two work on towers? Can you... Can you two a tower and get backstab damage on a tower? Rest assured, I'm going to try. I feel like I shouldn't even use my abilities. I feel like... I just 2 alt as a combo, and then I auto attack. Because auto attack Loki, like the flurry strike's not really that good. Takes too much time. Ability is good if you're, if you're ability based. But as an auto attack character, you're definitely not ability based. Who knew? Oh. Come here. Jesus. I do so much damage. I went Soul Eater. Did Soul Eater get changed? I feel like everyone in the game buys Soul Eater right now. So I feel like it would have gotten changed. But I don't know. The only PTS changes I know are that they nerfed. Um, Atalanta's and they nerfed, I believe, Oboe. I think it was Oboe. They nerfed Atalanta's and another attack speed item. And, uh, then, like, an actual shit ton of gods. And then there's the, uh, what is it called? The mid season update? Or not the mid season, the mid patch update or the. A bonus update or whatever they call it. The extra update. Um, he's dead. Uh, is literally five god nerfs. <laughs> That's all it is. There's like an Aphrodite nerf. There's a Kabraken nerf. There's um, other things too. I don't know, man. I don't know. Look, all I know is that the new Loki actually requires a certain amount of skill. And I'm extremely happy about it. And he's definitely not supposed to be an auto attacker. <clears throat> but it's really fun to play as. Oh my god, look at him. This is 2.5, by the way. 
Oh, let's go see if um, the two works on towers. It is PTS, so it might. You never know. You know when Jormungandr... If you go back and you watch my first look of Jormungandr... Um, I did it on the PTS, and he was glitched, and the effects from rings actually worked on his auto attacks. Um... And I just got telekines and shred absolutely everything. Okay, it doesn't work. kill that's phoenix down i could end the game but i want to finish my build we're gonna go get this and i want the speed buff too and what is that 29 power no that's 29 stacks just 58 power let me get this 34 stacks which is 68 power I'm getting 68 power for my silver branch I have 248 power full attack speed build. This is why hunters go full attack speed. You can have a decent amount of power with a lot of percent pen. And not even be scared about it. Oh. And then Ichival steals the attack speed so he can't even outbox. Oh, dude, I have 44 stacks because of my Atalanta's proc, which means I got almost 90 power. I got almost 90 power from Silver Branch. GG Gamer. Thanks for playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry about my little rant about, uh, about new Loki being better than old Loki and the fact that there's so much counterplay and, you know. I just, I, I don't like the fact that people somehow think to, they, they want to say old Loki is better. There's no world in which old Loki is better because there was no counterplay to him. There was no team fight aspect to him. So all you did is play by yourself. And there was, um, there's almost no skill required with playing him. New Loki, there's a skill cap required because you have to actually combo your abilities effectively. Um, <clears throat> he has a team fight ultimate, so you can actually not have to play only by yourself. And there is actual counterplay associated with for the enemy team, so there's not only toxicity, breeding, annoyance all throughout Smite because of this god. So I, I don't know. Those are my three. Those are my three points. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know this video will get a lot of dislikes. Because of all the Loki mains out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. Bye.